indicated after Obama gets exposed for having personal Russian back channel. With each passing day, former President Barack Obama's dirty deeds and blatant hypocrisies continue to come to light. And this time, it changes the narrative. USANF reports, unlike what most of the mainstream media has reported, it was actually Obama who had back channels to the Kremlin and Iran right there in the Oval Office. Obama left a device behind, what is called the red phone, but didn't realize at the time that it was easily that it will easily link and trace back to him. The Obama administration had a back channel to communicate with Russian officials, according to new reports detailing Moscow's efforts to delegitimize the U.S. presidential election results. The White House contacted the Kremlin on what Bloomberg described as a modern-day red phone after Russian operatives tried to infiltrate software and databases used by state election officials, reports Daily Caller. The above-mentioned red phone wasn't literally a phone but a secure messaging channel for urgent messages and documents, reports Bloomberg. The back channel was still there when Trump took the Oval Office and it was also revealed that Obama used it to talk secretly with Iran to get disastrous uh, Iranian nuke deal done. An award-winning journalist who left uh, CBS News because they refused to allow her to expose the Obama administration's numerous crimes recently published the story on Obama's use of the red phone. She said that Obama administration approved months of secret meetings via back channels between U.S. and Iranian officials to clinch an interim 2013 nuclear deal. The Democrats are accusing Donald Trump of colluding with Russia and blaming Jared Kushner as he his back channel to speak to foreign governments, but that's exactly what Obama did. Also, Obama was caught colluding with Russia. In many ways, here are some of them. President Obama sent a message to Putin that he would have more flexibility on certain issues after his re-election. The Obama administration had long-standing discussions with Russia on possibly possible joint military operations in Syria. And Obama Secretary of State Hillary Clinton wanted to reach out to Russia and reset, quote, relations among other connections. Clearly, there is no evidence from Trump colluding with Russia, but there is of Obama. But the mainstream media won't cover this. Share on Facebook and Twitter if you agree that Obama needs to be prosecuted for this. Absolutely. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.